Hello, my name is Jose Barriga. Welcome to the next video to the conversion um, of a Nissan Sentra to an electric car. Today I'm working on the power steering. And this is the power steering that I'm going to install. This is a uh, Toyota MR2 power steering. Uh, this uses about 50 to 60 amps. And what I'm going to do is, uh, since I can really get a 60 amps relay, I'm going to use two 40 amps relays. So I'm going to use, a, I'm going to do this double. And I've been working on my cable. I've been working on my supports, and I have a couple of uh, fuses. I'm going to use two lanes. I'm going to use two lanes. Uh, lines of uh, 30 amps each. So I have two fuses, two relays, and two cables going to the uh, power steering. Uh, I'm going to show you now the supports under the car that I have. Oh, and by the way, I removed the uh, front bumper and the grill. The, 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 from the bumper that it had was very low and it was hitting every, everywhere. I even cracked it. So this is not, it was not, it was not working for me and I decided to replace that aftermarket bumper with the original type so I'm going to be converting uh, the front also to the original type which is this I already have the bumper and uh, I've removed it to make it easier to install the power stream but this is going to be there soon I'm thinking about painting the car as well really soon anyway I uh, just wanted to show the support that I'm working because it's, it's easier now that the power steering is not there. And after I install it, I want, I'm going to show you the, the way this is going to go. So, let me see if I can show you where the supports are. I decided to install the power steering right here, next to the um, next to the front shaft of the motor. Um, let me see it best way that I can see that. This is my uh, support for the power steering. This is another little support that I installed. This is going to be seen much better once I have the pump installed. Well, the power steering pump is already installed and I'm going to show you. That's the power steering pump. Uh, it's already installed, it has all the supports. It has the hoses. This is the pressure hose, which happens to be the same size on Nissan than in Toyota, so I didn't have to do anything special. I didn't have to do anything with this hose but to attach it. The return is there, cables. And I want to show you how it works. I still, I'm still working on the um, relays, but at least I can try it now. And this is, uh, I'm just going to you connect it to the power. No, no relays for it yet, but you just going to start it now. I'm going to show you how it's working now. Looks like I have power and power steering in it. Next test I'm going to do with the four, two wheels in the floor. It works great. But one wheel still in the air. So I'm going to try next with the two wheels on the floor. Thank you. Okay, the car is on the ground. Bolt front tires. Let's do another quick test. Uh, just make sure that everything's working fine. Let's see. Okay. Looks good. And I want to show you the finished product. Uh, I'm done. Uh, this is the relays, the two relays, the fuses. is you know, installed. I was going to be here. I have uh, liquid now in the power steering uh, reservoir. 
and this is what it's going to be. Um, I'm going to show you how this works. And I put a switch on the dashboard because I don't want this to be on all the time. I want this to be just uh, connected to a switch. So I, I put the switch here and therefore when I put the switch it doesn't really turn on until I turn this on. Now I have power steering and of course when I turn off the switch it will turn off the power steering pump. Um, the only thing that I really need to do now is uh, in order for this to work closer to what the original power steering works in a car, I'm going to put a sensor, a proximity sensor, in the in the wheel inside of the cabin with a 10 seconds relay, uh, delay relay. So in that way, the pump will turn on automatically when I turn on turn turn the wheel. Uh, the, the relay will keep the pump on for 10 seconds, and of course, if I keep steering, it will keep the pump on. So that's the second phase of the power steering, just the, the sensors in the in the wheel, in the in the actual shaft of the wheel. Um, okay, that's all for this video. Thank you.